Hey everyone, Mitch coming in for the Commander's Core Studio for potentially the second time today, depending on when this episode comes out. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Uh, so this is going to be another episode of Commander's Core is Uncut, this uh, new kind of series where I just basically turn the camera on to start talking. And, and again, uh, I'd love to hear uh, your thoughts on it. Um, yeah, uh, it seems like many of you are enjoying this new kind of an episode where I just, you know, talk about recent news or, you know, different topics that have been on my mind or on your mind. Yeah, because many of you have commented below and, and yeah, have, have some great ideas and uh, I'd love to hear uh, yeah your feedback. Um, now, when it comes to this episode, uh, again, typically I'm not recording multiple episodes in the same day uh, and, and publishing them, but uh, yeah, I, I thought this was pretty warranted. Um, kind of ironically, uh, I didn't realize actually that the, uh, the sale for uh, Magic 30 uh, was actually today. Um, so the 30th anniversary edition or whatever it's called, uh, I didn't realize that was actually today. Uh, I'd planned for my uh, initial episode, uh, which if you haven't seen yet, make sure you check that out at some point, uh, because on that episode, I think I ended up calling it like, uh, wizards, um, reaches a new low or like hits a new low or something like that. But basically, yeah, I, to sum it up wizards, uh, to promote, uh, this product that many in the magic community dislike uh i mean that's probably not not even strong enough of a word <laughs> uh very much uh it represents kind of everything that is wrong uh with wizards right now and everything that is wrong with just how things are going uh right now with wizards and hasbro and um and yeah uh because uh, the community does not like this product um wizards decided uh, instead of trying to have you know magic content creators or influencers promote it because they knew that that would not work because <laughs> magic content creators and influencers don't like it either uh so they're not going to promote something like this uh that you know seems like kind of like a scam essentially to many people out there uh with you know the 999 dollars for you know 60 proxies that are random from beta essentially uh so not even real cards so yeah a thousand dollars for fake cards uh in the random fake cards too um but yeah, so Wizards essentially went around uh, the community and decided to promote uh, through other TCGs, uh, other influencers and content creators on other you know platforms, essentially. So yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! content creator, <laughs> essentially, uh, you know, they, they contacted them to promote it and that person had to take their, their video down. Uh, regardless, okay, this is probably a roundabout way of saying what's, uh, what's about this episode. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen that one, make sure you check it out. But on this episode, um, yeah, uh, apparently this uh, terrible product... Um, let's say sold out uh, again because that episode i had put out at 11 which is exactly the, apparently the time that the product came out ironically um and uh and yeah uh the product is already out of stock apparently i i did not count it uh, you know myself for the amount of time uh, i did you know saw, i saw like a post about it uh, like an hour i think after the actual product was released uh but yeah apparently it took like 33 or 35 minutes or something like that for it to be out of stock uh now what exactly does that mean? Uh, let's take a look at what Wizards had to say about it on Twitter because this is a very, a very strange tweet. Um, so this is the official uh, Magic Gathering Wizards account, uh, and they tweeted at 11:39, so apparently a couple minutes after that. Anyways, uh, the 30th anniversary edition sale has concluded. Okay, and uh, the product is currently unavailable for purchase. Thanks to everyone who joined us today. Please reach out to customer service if you believe you're experiencing an issue with your purchase. Anyways, um, huh? Uh, this is a very, very strange tweet. It seems like something that, like, you know, like a, a just like an automated tweet, kind of. Like, you know, it's like you actually purchase something online and you just get like this automated email, essentially. It just kind of fills in the little gaps. And this one's just like, it doesn't seem like this is saying anything one way or the other. It just says, it's saying the 30th anniversary edition sale has concluded. Okay. So, so did you sell out? Did you not sell out? Did you decide to stop selling it because you realized the giant backlash that was coming at you? Or also that maybe it wasn't selling anywhere near as many as you wanted to, and you're kind of trying to just kind of cut bait and run? Uh, you don't want to, you know, be like, oh, five days later, oh, it finally sold out. That's embarrassing, Wizards, wouldn't it be? You know, since you put so much behind this product that you're also trying to promote elsewhere <laughs> to actually get it sold. Um, but yeah, it literally just says, has concluded, which I think is like the weirdest way ever to say that something sold out. Um, and it's unavailable for purchase. Thanks to everyone who joined us today. Not, you know, thanks to everyone who supported the product. Uh, you know, just thanks to everyone who joined us today. 
I feel like Wizards with this is just kind of like trying to, I don't even know what they're trying to do. They're literally just trying to like thread a needle between like people who are apparently excited about the product and people who don't like the product and just be like, it's done. And like, that's it. Like, they're just like, just like, ah, uh, whether you liked or didn't like it, it's, it's done. Congratulations. It's done. Like, it's it just like, it does. It seems like, again, like they, either you, you like, you know, again, like commit hard to, Hey, like, no, no, no. Like if a product sells, it's right for us. So we're just going to be really happy about it selling out. Look, look at the record we did. You know, we sold, you know, this thousand dollar product with 60 fake cards in it. For whatever reason, we sold, you know, 10,000 of them in the first 30 minutes. We're amazing. Look at us go. But instead, it's just like, yeah. So, it, again, will we ever know, you know, how many units sold? I have no idea. Uh, and, and again, when it comes to people who actually bought this, you know, is it, you know, people actually interested in the product? Or is it, you know, people who are just trying to resell the product and what we'll actually see here in a bit? Uh, but yeah, I mean, of course, it's already up on eBay for, you know, a, a lot more. <laughs> so that's kind of just like the thing, like, who was actually interested in this? Was it just, you know, people who are just trying to, you know, buy and resell it? Or people, you know, who are just, you know, in finance, essentially, like, oh, yeah, I'll just hold on to it, sell it later, or whatnot. Like, what actually happened here, uh, Wizards? And again, I, I highly doubt we'll ever get, you know, an answer from that. Uh, you know, Mark uh, Rosewater loves to I uh, kind of talk on the blog about, you know, this and that. And we'll talk about one of the quotes here in a bit. I think I shared on the last one. But, like, is this something that, you know, Mark will say? Again, like, when, when all the blowback, you know, happened about the, you know, Walking Dead secret layer, it was like, uh, you know, like, oh, like, this is a terrible product. This is awful. Why would you do this in Magic Community? And then Mark was like, well, we sold, you know, the, most, the best selling secret layer ever. So it's like, okay, is this your best selling product now? Is this your, you know, your best selling anniversary edition or whatever you're going to compare it to? But it's just, it's weird. Uh, it's very weird. Um, yeah, so let's just take a quick look at uh, an eBay listing um, already. I mean, this, uh, again, uh, just a couple hours ago, uh, not not even. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, came up essentially. And and uh, yeah, the uh, MTG Magic Gathering 30th Anniversary Edition sealed box confirmed pre-order. Now up for sale for twice as much. Literally just multiplied by two, essentially, probably, you know, $1,999. Now you can pay $2,000 for 60 random proxied cards. So um, hopefully no one is buying that. Um, and, and again, that's, you know, that's the wizard's way, right? It's like, you know what? We are just going to sell the product. Uh, people will buy it. It doesn't matter to them who buys it. It doesn't matter, you know, if it's someone who's just going to buy it and try to sell it for profit, just reselling it in the secondary market, or if it's someone who actually cares about the product, uh, or if it's a product that the community even wants at this point. It's just, you know, it's unfortunate the way that things are going. Um, yeah, and, and again, I think I brought this actually, this uh, exact one uh, up, this exact post from Blogatog, uh, which is Mark Rosewater's blog, and I probably should have mentioned this before on the last episode. <laughs> but Mark Rosewater, better known as Morrow, I believe is the head designer at Wizards, I think that's the title. But yeah, just the, you know, um, the head honcho when it comes to uh, designing things at Wizards uh, for Magic the Gathering. Uh, I mean, this question was, you know, The Walking Dead Secret Lair is the best selling, um, <clears throat> being the best selling is such a poor argument that it hurts every time you use it against criticism, against greed. And, and then the, uh, the response from Mark was, uh, we made a product that there was an audience that was interested in purchasing it. Why is this greed? Um, okay, so basically just any time that you make a product and it sells out, then it's justified essentially to you. And that's just kind of like the wizard's way right now. And that's kind of exactly, again, what I'm what I'm seeing with, uh, you know, obviously, you know, the, oh, look, we, we sold out. But they didn't say sold out again because did they sell out or they're just embarrassed kind of in this whole product and they just kind of want it to go away at this point. But they also want the money, obviously, from what they sold. Um, but yeah, so I would love to hear from Mark Rosewater. Come and post on Blogger Talk again. Post and say, uh, okay, like, hey, uh, okay, so same question. You know, we already talked about the Secret Lair Walking Dead, the, the 30th anniversary. Is this not greed as well? Is this product not just inherently just a cash grab, just a blatant cash grab that no one in your community that, that, that you know, wizard says they care about, you know, actually wants? And then, yeah, oh, it, it was purchased. It doesn't matter who purchased it. It doesn't matter, you know, how many were sold or whatever. It, it just, it, this is fine because it sold. That, that, that money is a justification for it. So we'll see. Uh, and, and again, obviously there's other, you know, faces to watch that talk about these kind of things, but it's just like, if you are, you know, someone who the community is supposed to trust in these kinds of comments, just like it, it just deteriorates that trust, at least for me. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, again, I don't think we're ever going to get a, an actual answer. You know, how many units did you sell of this? How many 
secret layers or not secret layers again they get mixed mixed up the uh, 30th anniversary editions how many of these were sold you know how many of these you know what percentage of that ends up on ebay just selling for twice as much trying to just make a huge profit off of it um it's just all a mess it's gross um it's uh it's something that's really sad and uh and yeah uh, uh wizards uh, again uh, tweet of the year right here with uh, whatever whatever this is again Sale has concluded. The product is unavailable for purchase. Thanks to everyone who joined us today. Not thanks for supporting us. Just thanks for joining. So that's exactly what I'll say <laughs> as I end. Uh, yeah, I guess. I'd love to hear from you. So comment below. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on, I mean, the 30th anniversary edition. Um, you know, this uh, apparent, um, you know, sale conclusion. What do you think happened? Do you think that uh, they sold out? Do you think they didn't sell out? Do you think they're just embarrassed and just trying to kind of just, again, thread the needle in between and just be like, uh, it's done. Forget about it. Let's move on. Uh, it's, we'll, we'll see what it is, I guess. Maybe in the future we'll know, but I'd love to hear from you. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Um, thanks to everyone who joined us today. And of course, as always, thanks again and have a good one. This show and episodes like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. If you're looking for an easy way to help support this show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any new episodes. You can also go check out our playmats and other merchandise at thecommandersquarters.com. We also have a ton of brand new t-shirt designs in stock, so make sure you check out those as well. Another easy way to support this show is with our TCG Player affiliate links. So whether you're buying a deck or individual cards, you can use this general link right here or one in the description. And the final way that you can support this show is by supporting us directly by becoming a patron. There are many benefits to being a patron, and I truly couldn't do this without all their support.